Welcome, I'm Mr. Darby, and today we're going to be stretching our own canvas. So I'm going to move the camera over here. That's centered there. Can I see what we're talking about? First, I want to introduce a few tools. First, we're going to have these pre cut, pre um, slotted pieces of wood. You can get this at, uh, this came from Saks. You can order them online. Go to Dick Blick, Hobby Lobby, um, Rapid City or Sioux Falls has those stores, or some of those stores. Um, Walmart, I've even been told, has this. And we have our natural unprimed cotton uh, canvas. And this is just a comparison. This is our pre primed canvas. It's going to be soft, natural on one side, and then harsh, hard, stiff white on the other. Uh, we're going to have a hairdryer to speed up dry process, brush, marker, scissors, staple gun, and a little bit of gesso. Now, gesso is basically primer for your paint. Um, or not primer for your paint, but primer for your canvas. It just helps the paint stick to the canvas. It's made out of chalk and some binder material. So let's get started. These are the same size, so we're making a square, but they can be different sizes. I'm just going to slot those two together like so. You see that? And we'll slot the next one in here. And we'll in here. It's a little tricky on that one. Now it's important we do have leather hammers here and those are best used on wood so they don't put indentations in the wood. Um, I did not bring one. I don't think we will need it but if we do we do have them available in the classroom. So you now important thing I pre-cut this out but basically we want it roughly around three inches around each side. So it's there it's going to be a little tight right there. So I'm going to take this. I can always cut off more excess later. Alright, so pull this. You're going to bear down on this by pulling. So you grab it here. Index finger and your thumb, you grab it and you pull. Nice and tight there. And then you pull across here, pulling tight. You don't want to release pressure. So now we got some tightness there. Do the same thing here. And you do the same thing on a large canvas. And the reason why we rotate it is so we have a nice, even stretch all the way around. And we're going to continue to do that. But since this is a small canvas, we're going to think about folding corners first. So what I'm going to do, and you need to stay consistent with this, is I'm going to fold that in there. In. Let's see if you guys can see that. Kind of like a Christmas present. There's lots of different ways we can do that. We can push this in. So we got that slot like that. Like that. Push that in. So we got that, push that down, put that over there. Looks nice. And then we still have room to pull that tight. I'm going to do the other corner. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself on the corners. I'm going to trim some of this away. Because if you get too far ahead of yourself, you're not going to be able to fold. Why am I trimming a little bit? Because I want be able to fold those corners in. You can always trim some off, but you can't always add. So you don't want to trim off too much, and I usually don't trim. But in this case, I'm going to. So we're trying to make it stay the same here because that folded in. So we'll get this one here. Put in like so. Get the camera in there a little bit better. Maybe down there. there you go. Like so, which is the same as that corner. Okay. Push down a bit. And we'll do the same thing. So, this in here.
corners I think are the hardest part. I'll put some, put that, push that in there a bit. Just nice and tight. And this is all for seed to go back to where I was. I'll stand up a bit. It's easier when you stand and pull. Staple. Don't staple your finger. That would not be a good idea. Pull, staple. Pull, staple. Pull. See, a little harder when there's less to pull. There's no such thing as over tightening on such a small canvas. Um, on the larger canvases, you, if you end up pulling it too tight, it might bend the frame. And all you have to do is put some stabilizers, some extra wood, and that'll straighten it out. Okay, looks like we staple them. If those come up, we can always pop them down with a hammer if they're not in all the way. So, got our frame. Nice looking frame. What do we do with that? Well, I always tell my students to write their name on the back. And I always do that with my work. I usually put it on the frame here or down here, depending uh, if I have any room. And I usually write down if uh, it's my first painting in a series or my last or um, the dates, my email address, something like that. In case uh, my work starts traveling, maybe, maybe word of mouth or just the history. A lot of people like to know the history of the the painting they bought. So then, move you guys back up here. Excuse me. So what we're going to do is we'll work on some of this gesso here. I'm so sorry about that. So we're going to get some gesso. Canvas, and we're just going to gesso this on here. And we'll put that down here. And you can see there's uh you can see where there's some areas that we got, some areas that we missed. And we are actually going to put on just one application, but you are going to put on three, which means you're gonna have to put on it a layer of gesso, let it dry, and put on another. Now if you want, if you don't paint the edges here on the side, the edge of the frame. And you travel or you have a really large work you can cut the frame cut it off roll it up and then take it with you or ship it much much cheaper trying to do uh, sell send a frame and actually send um, the whole frame if you just send the work um, but I like to paint the frames so I like to have my work wrap around kind of like a three-dimensional art piece kinda like a sculpture so I usually paint the edges, but I will leave that up to you. And this being the first coat of paint, and it's gesso, and it's very thick gesso. I did not water this down. Usually I add a little bit of water, but it's pretty thin. I don't think I'll need to use the hairdryer, but you can use the hairdryer to speed things up. When you put on the hairdryer, you can hear that that drum sound. Excellent. So this has been a brief, brief tutorial on uh, canvas building. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Hope this helps.